Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing another fragrance rotation video. How time flies. And this is for the week ending the 30th of January, 2022. Wow. So, this week started on a bad note after hearing about the death of Thierry Mugler, after the death of the bloke from the Bleu de Chanel adverts. Uh, there was only one place to start, really. So on Monday, I wore Amen again. And frankly, I shall continue to wear Amen throughout the month of February. Um, I absolutely love it. It's one of those ones you don't. I don't get bored of it like. I think I will always love this fragrance. I will be very surprised about if there comes a time when I don't love this scent. It's absolutely fantastic. This is my little 30 mil. I've got a recharge for it. The juice has gone a strange colour in this, so it's like a green. I don't know if you can see that. It's not blue anymore. Um, uh, big horrible tar note at the top. Um, like Almost like a fresh tar, you know? It's definitely got oodles of ice away super in it. Um, once you've smelled ice away super, you cannot unsmell it. Um, but it just gives it it just gives it even more heft and lightness. This would be very dark and dingy if it wasn't for that sort of like uplift of ice away super. Um, absolutely fantastic fragrance, though a seminal men's fragrance. The beginner, for better or worse, of the male gourmand. Well, I say the male gourmand. Um, gourmand in general, I think it was Angel by Olivia Crisp. It was Angel by Olivia Crisp, or was it Alien? One of the two started the whole gourmand like thing, and then in Amen became like the purveyor of that in the male in the male in the male circles. So, yes. As a tribute on Monday, I know a lot of people wore a wore a, uh, a Terry Mugler fragrance this week or on Monday at least. Absolutely love it. Love these little recharge. I try and pick these up whenever I can because the new Mugler versions are crap. But this is a Terry Mugler version, of which I am very pleased to own. Next, next on Tuesday, I decided to wear something completely different, but. It's got that mid-90s designer feel. And the fragrance I decided to wear is Opium Secret de Parfum. This is what I have been reliably informed is essentially the Eau de Parfum version of Opium. It's got a huge myrrh note in it. Absolutely fantastic. It's by Parfums Co. Who were... Managing the YSL account at the time. It doesn't have it written on the bottle, unfortunately, but it does have it written on the on the, the cap, the cap of the bottle. The um the bottom of the bottle, the plastic, the plastic little thing there. I'm sure you can see that there. Parfums core under the YSL. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. I've I've messed with the camera. Now sort of. Right. Um I wore this on Tuesday. It's got a huge myrrh note. It's definitely got the opium vibe. It's definitely got that sort of like sweet narcotic berry, like a berry vanilla sort of vibe. You get that in the male one as well. Um, and yes, this is the only fragrance I've had a compliment on in the last couple of years. Um, don't believe any of the compliment lists that you see. They're all bollocks. Um, people pretending that you get compliments left, right and centre on your scent. You don't. Um, but yes. And if you are getting compliments, it's not because of your scent. That said, I did get followed around at air. I did get followed around an auction house by two old women wearing this. <laughs> anyway, next Wednesday. I decided to wear something I haven't worn for a long time. Um, unfortunately, the electric's just gone off in my house. But that's all right. We'll crack on because I have a light on my phone. So that's nice. This is Egoist. 
one of the best Chanel male fragrance releases and one of the least appreciated. Um, rarely do you hear people talk about this, but it's such a satisfying fragrance. It's so good. Um, it's a huge sandalwood fragrance. It's a massive sandalwood fragrance, um, but not the creamy kind of sandalwood. The kind of sandalwood that's in... Um, that's in oh the Serge Luton one. I forgot the name. Santal Majuscule, forgive us. And also very similar to the GOF Trumper Sandalwood Cologne, which is lovely. Um, but this has got the, the whole Chanel thing going on as well, you know. Um, this is a modern bottle, they're fine. Smells absolutely lovely. Loved wearing this. Little bit sweet. Woody, res little tiny bit resinous, a little bit sticky. It's absolutely fantastic. Apparently, they lost fifty million dollars on this because they didn't market test it before it came out, and thank God they didn't, because this is absolutely stunning. Um, if you want to smell like a grown up, if you want to smell like a real man, if you want to smell like a real adult, wear this. Absolutely sensational stuff. Thursday. Thursday I decided to wear a new a new pickup. A relatively new pickup. I got this in my small haul from last week. And today I decided to wear it. Uh, Thursday I decided to wear it. And this is a Scada Magnetism. Sorry for the sorry for the uh, sorry for the fingerprints, Eugene. I don't know how that goes. Oh, how we why is this happening? There you go. It's a little bit better, isn't it? Um a scar of magnetism it smells like cola. It's got a big rum note at the top as well. Um fantastic. It's sweet. The performance is really quite good as well. Um I need to wear it more to give you like a better better description of it, but rum and coke is like the sort of vibe you get off the top. Um, <clears throat> so yes, I enjoyed this greatly. The prices for this are insane online. Do not buy. This is a partial. I've got a full bottle coming at some point. Um, but don't pay the prices that it's going for online because they're absolutely mental. Uh, on th Friday, on Friday, I decided to wear another fragrance, which is familiar to this list. And that is Iquitos. By Alain Delon, Jasmine for Men. Um, this was knocked back from Dior, and they went with Diorella, I believe it was, in the mid 80s and the early 80s, and Alain Delon picked it up. Um, apparently, there was some words spoken, such as a man should not, <gasps> excuse me, a man should not smell like this, and Alain Delon took exception to such, such egregious provocation and thought to myself I'll have that and sell it to men and so he did and it's gone down as a cult classic the bottle's supposed to look like a cobra's heed and so it's gonna be like I'll come and get you stay back but uh it's not venom in the bottle oh no this is lovely juice named after a city in the Brazilian jungle I believe Iquitos Smells absolutely sensational. Warm jasmine, not very pissy at all. Uh, uplifting, light. You've got to wear it or it'll wear you. Um, it's about the attitude you have when you wear it. You've got to be very comfortable. So don't be being all sort of like fidgety and angsty when you wear this. Because it'll eat you alive. And people will be like, oh, that sort of smells like a bird. A woman, even. Anyhow. Saturday. Yesterday, in fact. I went for something completely different. Completely different. To the other fragrances I've picked this week. And that fragrance... Is Patchouli. By Profumum Roma. The V's on there are Latin U's. So it is Patchouli. Uh, if you're ever searching for it, you've just got to put the Y at the end instead of the I. 
but there we are. Um, this is just a patchouli solid floor, basically. It's got a little bit of amber in it, a little bit of, little bit of amber, a little bit of sandalwood, just to, just to sort of tie it together, just to sort of round it out, round out the base, make it last long. It's absolutely nuclear. It lasts all day. It's fucking beautiful as well. I absolutely love it. Um, I do love a good patchouli done well. It's easy to do just a shit patchouli. Very easy to do a shit patchouli. And there are many shit patchoulis out there um few of them are of this quality from perfume and roma you will not you will not get um transitions you will not get like a changing perfume over time it will not evolve right this is what it smells like when it goes on is what it smells like all day and that's true of all the uh, perfume and romas i've smelled so just be aware of that please um and yes this is what I wore yesterday. And finally today. Today I am wearing another classic. From my, from my point of view anyway. Queer Canage. Dior's take on Queer de Russi, essentially. But with iris. More iris. Fantastic fragrance. You need to smell this. I've got like 700 mils of this. It's insane. I'll never use all of it. Um... But I don't care. I've got them. I bought. I got them both like heavily discounted. Like so, I'm really chuffed. Um, of course, it has the CD on the top and not the double C's. I haven't got any of the the, the other lids to show you. Um, maybe maybe another channel's got some where they can show you the lid and the, the C and the C and the D are like they're basically the same. If you turn it that way, as if you turn it that way, uh, but not this one. Uh, this is the classic. I uh, highly recommend you get the ones with the C and the D on the cap rather than the two Cs. Uh, or the, or the, the other uh, motif. Anyway, I will show you these fragrances all lined up together. Sorry you can't see the thingy. Still my electric's off. Crazy. I don't know what's happened. I didn't plan that. Um, we'll use the key off there, shall we? Escada Magnetism. Egoist. Oh, am I going to get them in? It's not looking good. There we are. That is this week's fragrance rotation. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.